This is Kenneth Wong, contributing editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. In the video report I filed last week, I showed you how Autodesk Inventor Fusion 2 with Change Manager helps convert direct edits into parametric features, along with the typical workflow. I used a fairly simple part, making fairly simple edits, to examine the process really. In this report, I'll get into more details on where it works best and where it tends to get tripped up and why I think it's the way it is. Essentially, there are certain direct edits that can easily be translated into a series of parametric steps. Doing this in a direct modeling program is the same as doing this in a parametric program. Similarly, this direct edit is the same as this parametric edit. And this direct edit can easily be translated into this parametric edit. But this kind of edit cannot easily be made in a parametric program. That is, you can't do it without jeopardizing the feature orders in the history tree. So here's our test part, as created with parametric modeling methods in Autodesk Inventor 2010. Now we're going to do a series of direct edits on this in Inventor Fusion Technology Preview 2. The most disruptive edit I made is to the top face of this pentagon, which I rotated and tilted to an odd angle. Then I save the parts back in Inventive Fusion in the default file type, which happens to be DWG. Now when I reopen the file, Change Manager kicks in. It gives me a list of changes showing before and after my direct edits. You might think of this as CAD equivalent of Microsoft Word's track changes highlighting all the changes. As you can see, Change Manager can help me convert almost all my direct edits into similar kind of parametric features except this one the top face of the pentagon which is rejected in later releases I believe change manager will be a lot better at converting some of the more complex direct edits into parametric items but I also believe there are simply some direct edits that don't have parametric equivalents because they are inconsistent with the principles of parametric modeling Autodesk developers get my admiration and respect for coming up with Change Manager, which creates a two-way street between direct and parametric editing modes. I look forward to see how they plan to tackle some of the more complex direct edits in future releases and accommodate those that cannot be easily converted into parametric versions. Next week, I'll be in Las Vegas for Autodesk University 2009, so if you're going, I hope to see you on the show floor. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, on the road to Mandalay Bay.